Hi guys, David Bizard here, and I'm shooting this quick addendum to episode 50 on the 383, so you should see it posted right after the uh, posting of the 383 part 2 story. And the uh, uh, issue here is the high nickel block, right? Um, my experience with uh, this is that one of the guys that used to work at the competition department, and for the life of me, I can't remember his name, although I was pretty good friends with him, uh, mentioned about the 01 block being a high nickel block. And I assume that that would be the case. Now, this goes back to long ago. I mean, I, I was going to jump in and say something like the late 70s, but that could be right or wrong. Now, since then, I've heard these rumors, which have increased steadily, about the 010 block, or any other block for that matter, does not have a high nickel content. Now, uh, the bottom line is, is that uh, the, the only um, issue that I need to take uh, um, issue with is that I did not start, if this is a rumor, I didn't start it. I simply followed the pack, which huh, I don't normally do, but it's a fairly small item, the high nickel block. And here's the thing. I have used other blocks which are not necessarily supposed to be high nickel blocks and never found any difference. So hopefully when I talked about high nickel blocks in the 383 story, I was alluding to them more than confirming their existence. Now, I want to say something about all those people who uh, chimed in here. You know, I was, to be honest, I was really proud of the whole lot of you, right? For whatever reason, and I have no idea why, but I seem to attract a more intense and educated audience than is usually the case. Now, I can think of some audiences that uh, some people get that are really super knowledgeable. For instance, Matt, the uh, astrophysicist on PBS uh, uh, that does all that stuff there. Some of the people that respond to him, I look at their questions and answers and I think, boy, was I ever really that smart? The answers, no, never was, right? I think if anybody was going to point at me and say, this guy's gift is, well, my gift is the fact that I attract smart people into my uh, ring of, uh, of friends and associates. So I want to thank all of those of you who posted in, and you, Dave, Mr. McLean, right, uh, uh, that made comments about uh, this uh, high nickel and tin stuff, right? It is nice when I can post a video and then look at the comments and I learn something, right? One of the things I've been accused of, which I can absolutely refute, is those people who say, yeah, well, Visard thinks he knows everything. That is so much BS. It's unbelievable. They must be as stupid as two short planks. My answer to that is, why would I spend so much time doing all this research that I do if I already knew it? No, I don't know it all. I want to know it all. And I do that mostly by making sure that the people I associate with are at least as smart as I am. Anyway, I just want to thank you all for those who put in this critical comment about that high nickel for being, how shall I say, aware and also I like the fact that it was done politely. Thank you gentlemen.